Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. And before we get on with the air compressor review, let's go ahead and announce the winner of the uh, Neo Eco, I guess it's pronounced. Neoco? Neo Eco. Neo Echo. And uh, anyway, this beautiful airbrush that I recently reviewed. I'll show you here. This will be the red one with the multiple needles and cup sizes. Quick release. Really nice, really nice piece. Tested great. And uh, also in the giveaway, how's that? One shot. The set of uh, Gundam Seed Colors from Mr. Color. Or Mr. Hobby, I should say. And it goes to a John Doe dash OG2 BT. So John Doe, you are the winner. And um, I get people saying, uh, "Who's uh, uh, some people don't deserve this stuff?" I'm getting these messages. I'm like, I just I asked you guys to put comments, and then there's this comment picker built into uh, YouTube. And you click it, and it just it goes through all the comments, and it picks one. And uh, that's how we get it. Sometimes uh, you'll see uh, if they're from overseas, and if it's too heavy, then i got to pick someone else. And if I don't hear from John um, within a few days, I'll try and get in touch with him again. If not, then we'll come in back and pick another winner. But uh, I'll be sending you out a message. Uh, John, if you want to send me an email, it's in the description below, but I'll send you a re-comment, and uh, you'll see that. And you know it's me. My name is Robert. You'll see my name listed because the scammers won't put my name. They don't know my name. And um, that's one way out of it. The scammers have been pretty good the way we're, discover uh, the way we're listing the title with the, uh, the giveaway. We're putting dashes between the giveaway and whatnot. That seems to be working so far. So far, so good. I have a lot of giveaways to go to. And then once we get closer to 100,000 subs, God willing... Um, We'll be giving away tons of stuff, you know, spray boots, the, the whole lot. Um, anyway, John Doe, OG2BT, you are the winner. You get the set of paint, this awesome airbrush, and as soon as we exchange back and forth, like I said, if you, you see this video tonight on the next night, uh, the email is in the description. It's, it's at the very bottom of the description. Uh, it's a Gmail account. You send it to me, and uh, we'll go back and forth. We'll, I'll verify it to you, and you'll know it's me. And... Um, We'll take it from there. So let's get these out of the way. All right. And we're going to bring up the compressor. I'm always trying to look out for you guys to find, uh, oh, don't hit the camera, find cheaper products uh, for you guys to, uh, guys are on the fence or it's a little expensive. That's why I'm always testing out um, products that are reasonably priced. This is the lowest price standard compressor they make without a tank. I retested their uh, model with a tank, the lowest price one they had. All right, let me grab it. I'm going to put it here, see if the camera can keep all this within camera shot. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe we can. Let's see. Hey, there, you, there we go. Let's pull up the camera a little bit. There we go. It's still sealed, so we don't know. We're going to do a decibel test to see how loud it is. And we'll try it on one or two airbrushes, see how it performs, and um, we'll go from there. Let's get my cobalt box cutter. Keep this. Always use this. Do not use your hobby knives for opening boxes. Let me grab my other one here, my Fisker, which I love. Yes, Fiskers are really nice. And this is a quick release. Look at this for the blades. Hold on. When you want to change the blade, I already did this like two years ago. I did this test. The blades come right out and then. And then push her in. So you don't use these uh, your hobby knives for uh, the ones you build your models with. You dull them out, and you got to replace them. Buy a box cutter just for your boxes. And God knows we need one because if you're like me, there's always something on the front porch. A bunch of stuff is coming in too. I got another chrome coming in from Spain from uh, Green Stuff World, who I love their chrome. What we got here? Oh, product. Defective accessories missing. Contact us. That's pretty nice. Email, customer service. Not bad. They even have a phone number. Wow. Very good. All right. Let's see what we have here. There it is. The Timber Tech. And 
to keep it in that uh, sixty dollar range, no tank. Um, but yeah, I've used them without a tank for my first airbrush for a long time. And uh, while I prefer a tank and recommend one to get started, man, you can go a year or two easy, no problem at all. So, uh, all right, let me pause the camera. Let me pull her out of the box here. You can see that it's kind of wrapped in there pretty good. Here's the pressure gauge. So, uh, yeah, let me pause the camera, guys, so I can back it up and pull this out of the box. All right, here it is out of the box. It is nice and compact, got a good weight to it. Um, the pressure gauge is like the one I have on my other two. It's good quality. You know, pick it up. Adjust plus or minus, push it in to lock it. There we go. It's got the handle. No need to release air from a tank. There is no tank. And uh, yeah, I guess the only point now is to see how it performs. Oops. So uh, yeah, now don't forget, guys, we're giving this away. Um, this will be given away. Uh, it came with this airbrush. And so we'll throw this in too. Uh, Brand new. I did run some paint through it to make sure it's not uh, it's not a, a bad one. And it, it's fine. Works good. So we'll throw this in too. So uh, yeah, why not? Let's put this aside. All right. Okay. So we're gonna test this. We're gonna try it on maybe one or two airbrushes. My new gallery here, or um, my GSI Creos on sale again, guys. Eighty bucks. Pick one up. And uh, what's this? My Patriot Extreme. I was just using. Um, a great airbrush. So, yeah, let's go ahead and plug this in. We're going to test the decibels. I have a decibel meter. So uh, we'll see how loud it is, and then we'll see how well it performs and if it keeps its uh, pressure accurate because it's going to be running, you know, as, you, as we're spraying. And um, that's the big test and also the sound. So uh, let's pause the camera. We'll head over to the booth this way, my Pace spray booth, and uh, we'll fire it up, see how loud it is, and see how well it sprays. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. Now, before we test the decibels, I'm going to do it on the floor because this is all steel and it'll echo. This is the booth, and it won't reflect. Watch. It won't seem that loud once we put it on the floor. But I just want to show you how we're going to set it. How you should set. You can see it's set for 30, and you know what's good? Watch as I hold it. It does not fluctuate at all. So that is good. I mean, you might move a half a pound, maybe. But all my compressors do that. So right off the bat, it does hold its pressure well. Now, how you t how you set it is you're going to pull up your knob, your control knob, and what you do is you're going to dial it while pushing the airbrush and letting the air out. Let me put this handle down. There we go. Right? So we're going to dial it while it's coming out. Stop it when we reach where we want it, which will be 20. Now we're locked in at 20. Always set it while you're pushing uh, the airbrush. Sorry about the camera, guys. While you're pushing in, and now you're locked in. So dial it while pushing, stop at the number you want it on, and you're all set. All right, let me change this camera angle, put this on the floor, and we'll test the decibel level and see how loud it actually is. Okay, guys, here it is below the bench below the bench, below the booth. The booth is right above us here. So I got my decibel meter here, and we're just talking, and that alone brings it up to uh, 72. So I believe it's going to be in the 60 range like my other one, because just talking brings you up to almost 70. Here we go. <laughs> so there you go. I'm talking and it's actually louder, but I'm near the microphone. This is on the floor. It'll be even quieter if I hold. I'm holding in the airbrush so you guys know where I'm getting it to turn it so far. It's got it shaking too. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. It's, uh, it's the same as my other one in the 60 range. Actually, when I talk, it's actually even louder. All right, so uh, let me pause the camera one more time. We'll get this in its position, and we'll test it out. All right, here we are, ready to go. We're going to go with some SMS. 
red and uh, that's ready to spray so I just took some put a couple uh, drops in there and uh, let's see how she goes this is the gallery the uh, number 68 advanced airbrush Wow really good it's not stuttering great paint the airbrush what a really good airbrush I, uh, I have I've only used this a few times and I was impressed the first time but I realized how good this is really good probably for uh, painting car bodies because it really just lays it out nice Look at that. That'll uh, finish a job quick. <laughs> so yeah, let's say, uh, I don't know if I got the smaller needle in this, but just see you how know, we can control it. We can, look at that, huh? Really, really good airbrush. What was it, 68 bucks? Really a bargain too. And uh, it's quality stuff. And been very impressed with the product line. I mean, check this out. It's like having a, a spray can that you have control over. Beautiful. And you can hear the... Uh, can you hear it? That's how loud it will be because, you know, I'm sitting up. I sit in my chair when I spray. And it's on the floor right next to my feet. There you go. All right, let's try a different airbrush, a different paint. And then we'll wrap this up. All right, let's uh, wrap this up using my GSI Creos PS289. This is the .3 needle. This is the one that's on sale currently for 80 bucks. So uh, this whole video is about saving money, 80 bucks for this one, and I believe it's under 70 for the gallery. And that's gonna between the two, you could probably paint everything you want in the air, in the compressor at 60. We are talking, we are getting you in at a great price to start your brushing. So let's go ahead see how it works with the GSI by the way we're spraying XF 56 metallic gray one of my favorite Tamiya colors you'll see why in a second it just goes on awesome this is a great base for candy colors believe it or not All right, let's try it again on white there we go try it over this other spoon this is a dull spoon the other one's kind of shiny Trying to see how the air is. It doesn't pulse here. I'm trying to go really light. And uh, it's got really good control. Even though it comes on and off, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, just like the portable air compressors that turn on as you push in. Well, a couple of presses before it comes on. Now you could... I'll show you the difference here. Obviously, this is a 0.3 needle. We're not going to get as wide an angle let's see see not as forceful still good though but we can dial this down the Mac valve lower the pressure a little bit up front come in oh I'm going the wrong way hold on guys there we go now I cut off the air completely so watch the compressor doesn't come on because there's no air coming through now we're going to turn it lightly and it's barely coming through so let's go ahead and now we can come in fine fine I mean there's barely any air coming through this is a metallic so you're not gonna get as fine a line as you would want like I get with my black you know but we need some kind of air coming out there we go but yeah it's tough with the uh, with metallics to get fine lines but the airbrush is definitely capable of it but
I'm trying to show you guys how much the compressor comes on. This doesn't blow through as much paint as the other airbrush either. But yeah, the uh, compressor works well. I'll check it for temp now. Yeah, it's not warm. I've been spraying off camera too and uh, to see how the temperature is and uh, it's ice cold. It's, it's still running nice. So yeah, let me clean out the airbrush. We'll head back to the bench. We'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench and the uh, results are good. It sprays good. It's still pretty cool. Actually, it's, it's ice cold still. I uh, always check the temperature, particularly on the uh, piston head here. And like I said, I, I let it run for quite a while off camera and um, it, it didn't get cold. It didn't get hot at all. It sprayed beautifully. Here's the Tamiya. So no problem at all. I mean, at uh, mid $60 price range, you are in your airbrushing. In particularly great was this gallery. I've only used it a few times, but boy, it uh, it really sprayed beautiful. Um, look at that. So yeah, I'll be uh, using this quite a bit more often, particularly for laying down some large areas of primer and doing my car kits. Uh, really good. I'll I mean I'll always love my GSI Creos. I use it for you know just about everything else. I wouldn't use that for. And this also was only 80 bucks on sale. I originally paid 125 when I got it. Now they're down to 80 and it's the same airbrush. So I'll put links to uh, the compressor and I'll put a link to both of these airbrushes. Both highly recommended uh, easily. They both perform great. But I'm really impressed by this new gallery brand. Uh, that airbrush really performs really good. Now for the giveaway, um, I'm going to throw in that airbrush I showed you. Hold on, it came, it came with it. I have so many here. I'll throw this in. And I'm not going to be a jerk and give you the airbrush and a compressor and no hose. So I'll throw a hose in. I just got a couple of these brand new hoses I haven't used at all. So I will throw this in so you'll also have a hose. So you'll be ready to go. Just going to get your paint, watch a few of my videos, and you'll be good to go. Now, here's how you're going to win. You've got to like the video, leave a comment below because that's how I pick the winner. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell because I got a bunch more videos and giveaways to go. And uh, I'm still trying my keep my pace of at least two videos a week. Um, it's tough as life goes on and you're uh, trying to do it all. But uh, I'm trying to do it all and I'm, so far I'm doing it all. So uh, <laughs> you guys have been the best. Absolutely the best. And my patrons are also great too. I answer your questions directly. I just put up a patron video the other day. Uh, link below for my patron too if you want to join it's only four bucks a month it's a community we go back and forth we answer questions if a question requires they want to see a result of something I'll shoot the video and put the result up on my patreon and I'll work with you uh, individually that way too and uh, that's what we've been using it for and so far it's been great now looking back at the beginning of the video don't forget uh, John Doe OG 2 BT is the winner of the uh, Neo Echo uh, airbrush and the set of Gundam color paints for the Gundam seed line. And um, yeah, so don't forget to contact me. I'll send you another uh, comment below so I'll reply to you. Make sure uh, you know that you've won. But for this following giveaway will be this airbrush, this compressor, uh, U.S. residents only. This will be too much money for me to ship overseas. Uh, but um, I will have some other giveaways coming up with some airbrushes that I will probably be able to ship overseas should there be an overseas winner. Anyway guys, that's all for now. Still working on other videos. I got another tips and tricks video coming up. I just decanted this off camera. I put the images up. Check that out. I airbrushed. Look at that. I mean, that's a really good looking durable gold, almost chrome. It's foil gold metallic from Krylon. It was $6.99. I think it was on sale too. Less than that. And uh, it was off the market for a while. I couldn't find it. When I found it in the store the other day, I grabbed it right away. And uh, I know when I tested it about a year or two ago, I liked it. I said, you know what? Let's decant it this time. And I did. I sprayed it right into the airbrush. And look at that. Not bad. That's a lot of paint for six bucks, too. And I painted this Gumpla piece. See that? So that's something I am also working on behind the scenes. So anyway, next video is probably going to be a tips and tricks, a tips and tools, as I got a bunch of new uh, items to show you guys, and uh, those videos do really well, and 
I'm working on a few of those, and another one is actually coming up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in that next video. We'll probably be uh, tools and tips with another giveaway. So uh, don't be discouraged if you didn't win that or this. More to come. Many more to come as we uh, begin the climb to 100,000 subs. And uh, that is the dream. And you guys are uh, making it happen. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are the best. God bless you all. We will see you in the next video.